Okay, so another YouTube video that we're gonna be doing with the wife Max today. The wife and I, we're gonna work on this together this time. So some of you guys may disagree with us on what we're doing today, but today we're gonna install some rock lights. And trust me, I disagreed at first too, but um, he kind of gave me a little um, idea of why he thinks I should do this. And so I guess we'll try it. You guys will see why later on though. Yeah, later on, exactly. It's gonna be probably another month or so by the time you guys realize what we're doing with these. So these are McTuning LED rock lights because there's a white option with these rock lights right here. I like that because it gives you extra lighting because what I'd like to do is install these in the engine bay so when we turn them on, I have more lighting inside of the engine bay. When you're I, working on it? Yeah, when you're working on it as well as inside of the wheel well. Yeah. So, I don't know, what do you think? So, but that's not the main reason we're putting it on either. Why, the, the well, colors? We'll tell them later, yeah. Oh yeah, yep, stay tuned for that one. <laughs> so, all right guys, so uh, wife and I, we're gonna go ahead and get to it right now. We're gonna install these and I want you to stay tuned till the end of the video because we're actually gonna be uh, showing you guys what it looks like when the lights are on. So it's dark, yeah. When it gets nice and dark. I'll leave a link in the description for the McTuning Rock Lights below if you guys want to pick these up. If this is your thing. Is there a coupon code for that? No. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so let's do the unboxing right quick here. Let's do that. Here's the contents of the box here, as you guys can see. It's going to come with two, four, six, eight. LED rock lights, as well as your footing pads right here, everything you'll need. Your little module box, good thing is, again, is it's all plug and play. And I mean, you just run it straight to the battery. That's that's it, it's very simple. But either way, it looks good, looks waterproof. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys on. We went ahead and installed them right there, all right? That's where I'm gonna have them placed. One here, and then one over there. The only concern that I'm gonna have, really, is that when you turn the rock lights on, are they gonna blind me when you turn them on? But they are kind of slanted down. I want the light to come down and it's and spread out, but I know these are super bright. I've seen them in person, but they're gonna be pretty effective for when I'm working on the engine bay at nighttime. Um, if I'm in my dark garage or if I'm outside, in a pinch, I need some lighting. This is gonna come in so practical. So wife and I, we've been plugging away at this for about how many hours now? About two hours. Okay, yep. That's... Just figuring out where you want it and then running the wires where you want them to go, all that stuff, so. So basically she's right. So basically we ran, you know, the wiring, um, there, we use these holes, these existing holes, and we ran the wiring straight through and then all the way down to this panel. And as you guys can see, it drops down here. So it is a little messy. I don't like that one bit. But I'm gonna figure something else out. I'm probably gonna put like a, a rubber grommet ring right here or something like that so it doesn't cut into the wire. But what's really cool is it drops straight down and it goes through the fender, the inner fender. And then same thing for this side as well, guys. So I did that. And then also once you come underneath the fender here, basically all I did is I just did a self tapper right in there. That's it. And then ran my wire through here. The good thing is, is once I put my inner fenders on, you're not gonna see the wire, which is great. And of course, right here as well, we did that. So we have it under there. And then a little unique spot right here I thought would be kind of cool. Mounted it right there. Here at the center of the cab. So once you turn the lights on, we'll have a little bit of an underglow underneath there. I thought that is a nice little touch. So we did it on that side as well, which would make a total of eight rock lights. So it's gonna be really bright overall it's being practical because we need the white lighting because I, I don't really care about all the existing extra lighting, the reds, the purples, the pinks and all that stuff. I mean, it looks cool for a car show, but realistically, I think it's cool to have that extra lighting, especially when I'm outside. Um, say I'm on the side of the highway, I need to help someone out or I break down, I'm gonna have that extra lighting. So what do you think? Yeah, I think it's cool. It's a cool idea. And I like that you can have some cool other colors that you would want to choose from as well, so. What colors are, what do you think your favorite color is going to be? I can't say. Why not? Because it'll give away oh, why the, we're doing the it. the HSP piping kit. 
That's oh, right. You're just giving it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the color. We haven't. Okay, we haven't we haven't said the color yet, but yeah, I guess you gave it away. That's gonna go well with the color under the hood. So at this point right here, we have all the wiring in the center of the cab that we have to connect the module box to. So I'm gonna have you do that really quickly, and uh, I think we should be good to go. Everything's all zip tied and cleaned up. So we have this big gigantic mess of stuff on the floor. And what Melanie's doing right now is she's just connecting all the connections to the McTuning uh, modular box, which is right there where we self-tapped it. So that's basically it. So all the easy stuff is happening at this point. And we're gonna have this big ball of wiring right here, which is gonna be unfortunate. I think I'm gonna tuck it right above the fuel cooler. I'm not too sure yet, but once we get it all together, we'll figure out where we need to put all this extra wiring at. That's the fun part right there. Self-tappers definitely help instead of drilling holes because that's what they provide you in the kit. They provide you little tiny nuts and bolts and washers and stuff like that. But a lot of guys use self-tappers. I've used it in the past. I think it's cleaner, quicker. It just makes install so much better, you know, so much more enjoyable. And then ran the wiring, used a lot of zip ties, which really, really helps a lot in this job right here. And of course, just making it clean, you know, don't let your wires hang and droop and everything and wrap around the drive shaft when you're driving. Just make sure everything's tucked in nice and neat and clean, tidy. Okay, so I just downloaded the McTuning app. And basically, I mean, it's super simple. You just download it and then you got your on off button there. You connect it to your Bluetooth. And you got your on off button right there. So I'm gonna click the on button. And there they are, they turned on. Oh, there's all your colors going on and off. And then you can actually stop it on the color you want. You can just go to yellow if I want. Or blue that blue's cool go up to green like a lime green that's what? neat well that's really cool okay yeah. and where's my white light at and there's your white light nice that's what i'm looking for so and then you just want to turn it off you hit the off button and they're off all right so we have that one that one's good working yeah they're all working oh i mean i wasn't i wasn't too into the thought at first but now that it's done i'm like that might look really cool so we'll see when it comes nighttime we'll see the final results i kind of wish i had two more to put right behind the grill yeah. i thought that would be so cool <laughs> wouldn't it about that after we got it all i know you think about your uh crazy stupid wheels oh i think they look amazing but i'm gonna have to unfortunately take them off because like we said in the previous videos they won't work. They're not practical. I'll be grinding and hitting. I, I guess we could chop up the bumper a lot. And yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Now we're only going to keep these on for, well, however long it takes for me to get my, my new rims in the mail. And of course, everything's, you know, slower right now with what's going on. So. Hey, buddy. Buddy. You like the truck? Alright guys, it's night time. We're going to go ahead and turn these on. Ready? Uh-huh. That looks really cool. It looks sweet. But the real question here is, will my white LEDs help me see when I'm working on the truck? That's the big question. You have to permanently leave that on so you won't drive the truck. Oh. I'll still drive it. You know what's really cool? Look at the center LEDs right in the center of the truck underneath. Remember I told you I wanted that underglow for the mm -hmm. truck? That's going to look really sharp going down the road. Legally, anyways. Just as I suspected, other than these right here, the thing that is I don't want is it to blur in my face when I pop the hood. But, guys, look at that. It gives me light. That's what I was looking for. Just enough light to work 
in the engine bay at nighttime if I need to. Look at all this light. And it's there. Look at all that. Oh, I know. Isn't That's that, nice. Isn't that insane? That's great. Especially if you're trying to sell. I like it more than I thought it was going to, actually. It does look pretty cool. You obviously can't drive down the road with those on, though, can you? Um, I think in some states it's legal. You guys leave in the comments, some of you experts, I'm not too sure. But I think amber is a color that you can roll with. Actually, purple as well, if I'm not mistaken. Why? Legally, you can have purple on. Look at that. That's too cool. Yeah, that blue is sweet. It almost looks like a cop car, like if you were to flash it all. I'll go ahead and turn off the LEDs. That's kind of drowning out everything. Practical, again, the white lights for me when I'm working on the truck. I think they're really cool. Also, the sort of work style fashion of, you know, extra lighting for me is going to be really helpful. We need to start working on the cab. I know that's a big one. We have the, again, Boost Auto Parts LEDs on the tow mirrors, which are a very nice touch to this whole build. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be the flat, as flashy as we're going to go with the coloring on that. <laughs> but more to come with the piping kit. Yep. Are you trying to say that the blue is going to be the pipes? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching the content. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.